Hey, what's going on, guys? We're back at the tabletop, and today, finally, we're taking a look officially at the tabletop. Here, we're on it. It's wood. We got the box. Tabletop. Boom. Shadow Systems MR920. Basically, a Gucci Glock. Completely made by Shadow Systems because the patents ran out or whatever it is, but... It's only like 100, 150 bucks more than a regular Glock MOS Gen 5. So really, why wouldn't you? I'm going to explain exactly every detail as to why the Shadow Systems is the best Glock on the market in this review. So stay tuned for that. Uh, make sure you smash the like button and share this with all your friends because you're going to run out and buy one and they need to know how cool it is. So here it is, cardboard box, simple. Nothing special, right? You know, for the money, I think this is, you know, 850 bucks. Should come with more in a cardboard box, shouldn't it? It does. We're going to get to it. So here's all the specs on the gun. Okay. Black frame, combat slide with optics cut, black nitride finish, spiral threaded barrel, black nitride finish, stainless steel guide rod, green tritium front sight. Uh, MR920 is the model to 9x19. It is basically their version of a Glock 19. It is basically, in my opinion, all a Glock 19 should be. It is the perfect Glock 19. So... Here we just got the stuff that I pulled out of the bag because the bag is now stuffed with mags and it doesn't fit anymore. So it comes with standard issue with the shadow systems. They give you two of the 15 shot Magpul Glock mags, the GL9s. Uh, I originally, when I when these first came out, the Magpul mags for Glocks, I bought like 15 of them. And I had a problem with probably 75% of the mags that I bought initially. Now, after getting these um, with the shadow systems, and then I've since then bought more because they actually work. I don't know what's different about them, but they work. They work well. They seem durable, and they feed perfectly. So they got a lot of good features to them and a lot of different varieties, which you'll see here in a second. Um, but high cap, standard cap, solid stuff. Anyway, um, owner's manual. Simple stuff, we're dudes, most of us at least, there's a few chicks out there watching, um, but we typically don't read this, you can, you can't, it's a free country, you do what you want, uh, but it would behoove you maybe to look through that and you know see what's going on. Adjustable back straps with the tool to do it, which is a nice touch, I like the added you know benefit of I don't have to go digging through a drawer somewhere, boom, it's right there, properly textured, we'll get to that. This is actually not even from them. This is me um, from the Hollow Sun that I put on it. You get some Lucas Gun Oil. You get a lock. You get some other stuff. Maybe it is in the bag. This is for the uh, Magwell. The Magwell is on the gun. So you should probably want to see that, don't you? Yeah, you should probably want to see that. So let's show it to you. Boom. So this comes inside that cardboard box that uh, we just took a look at. It is a nylon, you know, little carry case, gun rug, similar to like the style that you would get with Wilson Combat or Nighthawk or different companies like that. Higher end guns typically will come with an outer shell box and then something like this in, you know, internally. Um, but either way, it's a nice touch. I like it and it's actually useful. I've been using it and you'll see that in a second here. So boom, first of all, look at that. They give you five magazine strips, basically. It's elastic, and you can store five magazines. I got three 15-rounders, and then these ETS mags are 20-rounders, but you can fit larger mags than that. This is a Magpul 27-rounder, and this is a Glock Factory 24-rounder, and it'll accommodate either of those. So either all these could be 27s, these could all be 15s. You might even be able to fit a 33 or something in there. I have laid mags down in here like this and stuffed a lot of mags in this bag and it's still closed and it's holding up um i did actually bend some of the freaking zippers if you guys could see that i bent them from pulling it closed and stuff because it was stuffed full of mags but it's a good thing especially in today's day and age where communism seems to be running rampant um here's the gun 
which also has a Raven Concealment Vanguard inside the waistband, preferably appendix style holster. This thing is awesome. Review on this separately. I don't know if it's going to be posted before or after this video, but look out for it because this thing is super useful. Uh, as long as you're running a Surefire X300 on the gun, this light will carry that gun because it indexes off of the light, not the gun, the trigger guard, anything like that. And uh, soft loop, excellent build quality, sleek, slim design, comfortable, and uh, a lot of versatility. So there's that. Did not come with the gun. Neither did the Surefire X300 nor the Hollow Sun 507C X2. I put those on, but as far as what did come with the gun, you do have the threaded barrel, which is also fluted. Beautiful. It looks cool, and they say that it helps with, you know, getting dirt and debris in there, and so the slide can still function freely. It also, you know, it increases surface area, so it's not going to heat up as fast. Stuff like that. Uh, barrel harmonics. You know, this, that, and the other thing. It's a handgun, right? We're not shooting this at a 1,000 yards. Does that stuff really matter? Is it mostly aesthetic? I don't know. You guys decide in the comments section. But it is threaded. They give you the O-ring. The O-ring does not come installed, but it comes in a bag inside of the bag. And then you can install the O-ring. That helps out a lot because when you wrench this down, um, it's going to create pressure. And so this is not going to come undone as easily when you're shooting. And you're going to be shooting this thing a lot because it's an awesome gun to shoot. It's super fun, and it's damn near effortless. If you know how to run this thing, it shoots itself. Okay, honestly. So, awesome. It's a match-grade barrel as well, and check out the crown. Okay, nice target crown. This thing shoots. It shoots all day. And I actually have some targets uh, to show you guys, so I could grab those here in a second, but... We'll give you a little bit of a look at the gun in case you guys are unfamiliar with the gun itself or the company. Uh, they are a newer company and they've been producing these. They also make like a long slide version of this and then also a full size or a Glock 17 size version of this. And then they have a couple different tiers. This is the combat. They've got a step up from that and then I think like the final form uh, type of deal. It's all got, you know, slide cuts up you know, in the slide and whatever, which I prefer this. The combat does not have that. I prefer this because this is going to be a serious use gun, a carry gun, a home defense nightstand gun, whatever. And I just, I don't like the dirt and the debris and the whatever, um, you know, less strength, less steel on the slide for a serious fighting gun. So I prefer it the way that it is. And even still the way that it is, it's very very nicely contoured it looks really really good these slide serrations both front and rear are sharp and aggressive and positive and it's easy to to rack that gun no matter which way you do it um good looking gun i also like how it's not just flat at the back like a normal glock you know boom nice touch you got a really nice beaver tail right there so you can get super high on the gun and then you're not going to get slide bitten you know nice touch these are all improvements over the standard Glock design. Okay, Glock perfection, my ass. This is Glock perfection, in my opinion. Here's that Magwell we were talking about um, that comes with the gun but does not come installed on the gun. Some people say, you know, oh, it's going to cause it to print and, and whatnot. And it, it really is not that obtrusive whatsoever. And it helps push your hand higher on that grip and get a more affirmative recoil controlling grip on that firearm, as well as at the same time, a larger funnel to be able to hit that mag uh, under stress. So you really can't go wrong with that. I carry the gun with that on there. I'm going to use the gun with that on there. That's an upgraded feature. Comes with it comes with it. Again, bear in mind you, this is an $849 gun, brand new, on the shelf at a local gun shop. So I, working at the shop, got it for a little bit, even less than that. So under $1,000, look at what you're getting, people. Upgraded stippling on the grip, no finger grooves, adjustable back straps, comfortable. This is the most comfortable Glock I've ever put in my hands. The P80s feel really good too because they've got a more vertical 1911 uh, like grip angle and different texturing and as well no finger grooves but this is the most comfortable Glock I've ever felt and again it's not a Glock. It's a Shadow Systems MR920. So 
what else do we get? We get a built-in gas pedal, a built-in accelerator ledge or whatever uh, you guys are calling it these days. It's basically a stippled cutout and a little bit of a ledge, a lip for your thumb. When you're shooting thumbs forward in a modern shooting technique, you can use your thumb to you know, push into the gun, torque into the gun, torque into this little lip right here. Oh, excuse me, guys, hitting the tripod. Um, and manage recoil a lot better. Okay, that helps out a ton. It's a nice feature. People pay hundreds of dollars sending out their stock Glocks to get this kind of stuff done to it. Okay, so this, you might as well just get this. It's way cheaper. And I think it's better. It's excellently executed. Uh, standard rail, it's 1913 spec, I do believe. I got the Surefire X300 UB on it. I prefer the UB over the UA because this is stronger. That's a more sturdy setup, and this is going to get a lot of reps in and out of a holster. Um, but again, gun doesn't come with the light, but I highly recommend this light. It's a 1,000 lumens. Um, it's an excellent light. It's proven. It's bomb-proof. It's durable, and it's going to be there when you need it. You cannot shoot what you cannot see, so light at night. That's right. <laughs> Poet didn't even know it. And going to lights, let's talk about the sights. Dude, I am too good. I seriously, I'm going to get canceled. I'm turning into Dr. Seuss. Holy shit. <laughs> but let's take a look at the sights. This is my preferred sight setup for any type of a pistol. It's a blacked out rear and then a high-vis front. Now, this is an Ameriglow night sight, high-vis, photoluminescent paint front sight, which is awesome, and they are co-witnessed through the direct mounted dot. So you can see the front sight. I don't know if I can line this up for you, but you can co-witness your front sight with the dot, through the dot, and they're not even super tall like standard suppressor height sights. And then on top of that, you have high-vis during the day with the front sight, and then high-vis at night with the tritium with the front sight. The blacked out rear that is nicely serrated, as well as the rear of the slide here on the back plate serrated, it's going to be less distracting because you need to be focusing on the dot or the front sight when you're shooting the gun. Uh, I like that. I like it minimalist. Get it out of the way. I don't want to see it. Hollow Sun 507C, excellent addition to any pistol, in my opinion. I'm very, very impressed with this dot. Solar powered, I've gotten um, in a, a review coming out on just the just the dot, just the light, all the individual stuff on some of these mags. And uh, check that out again. I don't know if it's going to be posted before this video or after it, but it will be posted. So look for it and uh, smash that like button. But solar powered multiple different reticle options currently i have been running um well basically since i got it and i've had it for a little while now the donut of death eotech style reticle i think that's the best one uh it's the most intuitive and it really helps quick and easy you know shots up close follow-up shots and then you can really dial in and focus in by putting that bullseye right in the center of that circle and uh, get really nice tight groups at distance so Perfect setup, honestly. For a Glock, this is like, if you're going to have one Glock, this would be it. It's not even a Glock, technically. But it is a Glock because it'll take all Glock parts and accessories. Although the ones that come with it from the factory are already better. So, anyway. The trigger. This is something we really, really got to talk about is the trigger. For one, it's made out of metal. It's aluminum. It's a flatter face. It breaks at about a 90 degree um positive super positive and then also the trigger guard notice the trigger guard look at how much room i have in there for gloved hands for meatier hands i can get in there more safely if i don't need to be on the trigger prepping that trigger taking up the slack and getting to that wall i could be in there now obviously if you're not doing shooty stuff you should be out here but if you're in here doing shooty stuff and then oh maybe maybe may, oh then go you know you've got room it's also perfectly undercut i literally have um glock knuckle from shooting glocks and, and stuff like that competing with glocks um and them never having an undercut this is perfectly ergonomic for a glock high undercut a secondary undercut for your support hand it's excellent it's comfortable but back to the trigger lest us not forget i don't know if that's a word <laughs> let me know in the comment section but check this out so we're gonna safety knots right there so we got some take up. We got some take up. It's just like a standard, like a standard Glock, right? We got a little bit of take up. It's relatively smooth, consistent, right there at the wall. Crisp, clean. 
it's less than five pounds i don't know exactly uh it's probably like a four four and a half pound trigger and uh, they're said to break in rather nicely i've got several hundred rounds through this gun at this point probably getting close to a thousand if not at a thousand and uh, the trigger has definitely improved out of the box and out of the box i thought it was great um but yeah let's check out that reset the reset on this gun is really really nice short audible tactile the return spring is pushing your trigger finger out it wants you to shoot another one and then we're right here for the break crisp clean affirmative it's just it's got a really good feel again ergonomically the way that it points uh and and being able to make it point the way that you want it with the adjustable back straps that are a better option than the multiple back strap system that glock offers uh this is set up to fit the shooter's hand be more ergonomic because therefore the the hand tool that you're using if it works better for you you will you will work better with it um and that's what you have here i love the the cutouts and the skeletonization of the slide, the barrel, again, the fluting, the crown. The Surefire has been doing excellently. I love it. It fits perfectly on the rail. It has not gotten loose. Um, just little attentions to detail too, right? They give you this beaver tail, really nice beaver tail, super comfortable. And again, that acts as a, another point of contact. Now, another leverage point against recoil, which is a good thing. Uh, this is an extremely shootable gun. But even look on the beaver tail. They're like, okay, yeah, we gave you the beaver tail, but that might print, so we're going to scallop and relieve the beaver tail to, to prevent it from printing now. So you're getting, the, the it's a thoughtfully made gun. They know what they're doing. Um, I trust them a ton. And, and a lot of people, they even say themselves, put a few hundred rounds through the gun. At least 100, 200 rounds through the gun. Because it might need some break-in. It was, you know, it never malfunctioned for me, not once. But you could tell that the slide was a little sluggish on some of it, you know, under live fire because it's it's fit tighter than a standard Glock. You're getting match grade accuracy out of this in the realm of Glocks. Um, and it, it needs a little break in similar to maybe a custom fit higher end 1911. Um, but such a simple design, uh, such a proven design that being built off of, you know, the Glock design for all intensive purposes, uh, it, it, they tend to work. And it's smoothed out. Everything is super smooth. Everything just feels great. I mean, it's probably not coming across on, on camera. And it sounds a little squeaky. But, I mean, it's smooth. It's affirmative. The, the gun is tight for a Glock. The trigger is amazing. The reset is amazing. It just responds. Everything you do with the gun and to the gun, it responds back to you in a positive way. And that is something that cannot be said for a lot of modern style polymer or even striker fired, but including hammer fired guns. So I'm impressed with it. I like it a lot. Uh, I've been shooting it a ton. There's a bunch of videos. Some of them are short. Some of them are, you know, range videos, full range videos. Check them out. It's a fun time. I'm posting some pretty decent groups with it. Um, you know, we got the mags. I always keep this set up and I'll tell you guys what's in it. So this is just standard ball ammo, but it's NATO ball ammo. And uh, just in case, because I, I take this thing with me everywhere I go. A lot of the times I'm carrying it, but most of the time it's in the bag, like as like a little truck gun set up, grab and go. But this is NATO ball, 27 rounds. And here I've got, um, well actually in here and in here, I've got tracer rounds. And then in here... Now, I've got tracer rounds, and then what is in here? Oh, dude. I'm forgetting. No, that's hollow points. And then I've got a mix of Underwood and stuff. I got all every different type of ammo that I could probably get in here. I got in here. I got the Navex in the ETS mag. And then I got the, the uh, uh, what are these, the Hydra Shocks, but like the newer versions of them. In this, and the other night on my live stream, I, I dropped this live on camera to prove the point um, that they crack and they're not. Do not use ETS mags as a serious mag. I bought them because they look cool. Everybody, this is like the Instagram operator starter kit right here. You get this. You get the gun, the dot, the light, sleek little appendix rig, and then you get you know all the extended mags and the see-through ETS mags, and then you're cool. You post a bunch of pictures and stuff. Um, so I did it for the memes, but they, they, feed, they feed fine. They feed perfectly fine. They shoot, the gun did not malfunction, but if you drop this from like two inches and it's loaded, it explodes most of the time. 
but they look super cool. I wish there was a way to make ETS mags like bomb proof durable because I would run nothing but them because they just look sick. And the same thing with like the Lancers. The Lancers on the other hand are an excellent mag for like your AR and you get to see the rounds. I don't know. I just think it's cool. It's like a Polish barrel or burial. Um, anyway, besides the point, absolutely loving the gun. Like I said, have not had a single malfunction with it and uh, a wide variety of ammo. Uh, all of this stuff has been shot through it. Regular ball, 115, 124, wide variety of hollow points, um, reloads, all types of crazy stuff, and great groups. Speaking of those great groups, let me show you a few of them. Got to professionally grab the targets off screen that I forgot before I started the video. I could potentially edit that in post, but why would you? We keep it real here on the Terribly Tactical channel. So here is a, I don't know what distance this was at. I believe it's actually on video, me shooting this group. I believe it was seven yards. Um, but this is like a third size silhouette, and this is the body shot. They're all in there. They're all in the X zone. And then here is the head shots. And I believe specifically if this is the target from the video, this is you know, alternating or like two to the body, one to the head kind of thing, seven yards with the dot. Um, I, I dropped a couple outside of the bowl, but that's, he's dead. Okay. So, and that's just like not even really trying. Like, yes, I shoot. I'm an avid shooter. I shoot competitively. I shoot for fun. I shoot for protection, life and liberty. So I know what I'm doing to an extent. I'm always learning, but I can hold my own. Um, this gun is effortless, definitely effortless to shoot. Um, let's see what else I got here. This is a 20 yard group with this gun, with the dot. That's three, four shots touching, going through the same hole after obviously it ripped through. And then a couple little flyers. I would say the main group was here. So I was pulling a little bit left, but that's a good solid group. And I'm telling you, it's very, very hard to do that with iron sights. The dot makes it very, very easy to do, or at least a lot easier to do. You can be a lot more precise with the dot. Here's a 10 yard group. I don't know how many shots, but I mean, we're in there. The gun shoots. Uh, here's a seven yard group. I think this is also on video. I don't know specifically, but I think that was like somewhat rapid fire, just drilling out the bullseye. And then same thing here with, uh, with one little flyer. So, I mean, the gun shoots. You guys could watch me shoot it in the other videos that uh, already have been posted or will be posted in the future on it, but the gun shoots. And uh, you got to know how to shoot it, but if you do, you can do really, really good things with it. Uh, it, it extremely impressed with this gun. One thing to note, um, real quick too, about the gun that I forgot to talk about earlier. Be, if you are running the mag well, it will still definitely accept standard Glock mags with flush base plates, but they're very flush. So you got to make sure you get it in there. And then as well, if you did have to rip and strip the mag, there's not nearly as much to grab onto here. So that is why they specifically say that they ship them with the mag pulls because you could see how much more base plate that actually has. And if you did have to rip and strip, you got a better purchase. So one thing I forgot that I wanted to mention, because um, there have been a couple times when I was just dry fire practicing with a standard Glock 15 shot, you know, Glock 19 mag, and I went in there and I was already coming up to reestablish my grip or rack the slide or whatever I was doing, and I didn't fully seat it um, because it's not, you know, it's not as long because it doesn't have the same size base plate. So just give it a good rack and then make sure you know that. But overall, this is... This is where it's at. The dot is super intuitive, but at the same time, it's a whole a whole new thing, right? You're relearning how to shoot this pistol as opposed to like a, just an iron sighted Glock. You know, it is something different, but you you pick up on it rather quickly. At least I did, in my opinion, and it it works. It works really well. You can be a lot faster, a lot more accurate. Not saying ever once that you, it can't be done with iron sights because I myself a lot of the times can do it with iron sights. And the gun, no matter what, needs to have iron sights, but the dot is super efficient. It really is. Um, never have a gun without irons on it. You need something when the glass and the electronics fail. Steel typically does not. So, anyway. And practice with the irons too, people. Practice with the irons. Shoot your turn the dot off. Take the dot off the gun. Um shoot the gun with the irons make sure you know how to do that because one day you might have to do that i don't know i love the gun a lot it is i'm not even a, a, a glock blah, blah, blah. i don't know what the hell that was. 
I'm not even a <laughs> I'm not even a Glock guy. I don't even like Glocks like that. Um, I have several Glocks. I've shot them for years. They shoot good. They're well made. I think they're a little more expensive than they should be, you know, for what you actually get. But again, uh, it, it works. It's used by military and law enforcement for a reason. Uh, they kind of ride off that name a little bit and don't improve. But they're charging more money. The things are only slightly different. Oh, it's got finger grooves. Now it's got. Now it doesn't have finger grooves. Who knows? This is literally like 100 150 bucks more than a Gen 5 Glock MOS of pretty much any and all variety. The barrel alone, to me, is worth more than $150 extra dollars, plus it's cut for a dot. That's the other thing I forgot, too. It's cut for a dot, right? But their special integral mounting system, this little slip in between the dot and the rear sight, that's the adapter, and they give you several of them. It was in the white box over there. Um, and then it's a direct thread that goes into the slide, sight to slide, which is far superior than the MOS system. Um, it'll literally, with the adapters that they give you, it'll take the Holosun or Trigicon pattern, I believe the Leupold Delta Point, the Vortex stuff, the SIG stuff, like it literally will carry most of any of the dots that most people are running. Um, the, the most important, in my opinion, is, is the Trigicon, which is also what Holosun is, is copying from um, and, and some other sites, but that's what most people want, that's what most people are using, but it gives you the options for all the other ones. And the way that it's, it sits, the way that it snugs up, and then how deep the screws sit. The screws are super long, and uh, they go far into the slide. Like, this thing is rock solid. This is rock solid on there. The zero is held perfectly. The dot hasn't moved. I just used a little bit of blue Loctite, and uh, I'm just very impressed with the fit and finish, the quality, the finish on the slide, the barrel, everything. It, it's definitely... It's definitely holding up great. And I again, I've got just probably under or right at a thousand rounds through it. Ammo crisis and all, 2021 and all that, but it shoots great. It shoots absolutely great. And uh, this is my ideal Glock setup. If I could only have one, you know, Glock blaster for the rest of my life, because this is it optimized. This is the Glock optimized, like Optimus Prime, and uh, it's it's time to shine. You know, I was I'll never spend that much money on a on a Glock. You can't put lipstick on a pig. It's still a pig. And yeah, it's still a Glock. It's still a piece of plastic. It doesn't you know jump my bones like a nice all steel 1911 would, but. This is very, very functional for a lot of, of different purposes. And optimized like this, God forbid I lived in a free state, I could put a nice little yeeter discreter on that son bitch. Uh, we'd be in business. That would be the ultimate home defense gun. That'd be the ultimate gun for EDC, for bug out, for camping, for whatever. The range, super shootable, makes you a better shooter. Running the dot, seeing all the wiggle and jiggle on the dot, it helps you focus more. It helps you realize what you're doing, realize that you're not that stable, and do something to improve it. This gun has changed my mind about Gucci Glocks. And the best thing about it is it's the most affordable one that you could trust, and it runs really, really well. So that's the video, guys. It went a little long, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully you are, are in the market for something like this and this video helped and I do really think that these are an excellent option. But that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click the first three links in the description box below. Those are to help you fight for your God-given inalienable gun rights, which are constantly under attack and forever important. We need to do our part, people, please. Furthermore, if you want to help support the channel, check out the link tree, the Etsy shop with the stickers and all that good stuff. Uh, make sure you like, like the video, share the video, comment on the video, interact, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know your experience. Let me know if, you're, if, if I'm stupid for buying a Gucci Glock. I caved to the pressure. I wasn't getting enough Instagram likes. I had to buy a Gucci Glock. I had to fit in with all the cool kids. Otherwise, I wasn't going to make it on YouTube. I had to do it, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> But all joking aside, guys, thank you for being here. I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure that notification bell is rang so you don't miss a video. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.